I'm wearing so many shades because my future's too bright. And I want to talk about all these different shades from Pock, 100%, and Oakley. And I know, okay, that sunglasses, very subjective, yeah? Because it sort of gets into fashion. But what I want to do, or what I'm going to attempt to do, is break down these different sunglasses, Oakley's versus 100%'s versus Pock, to kind of give you what's the best bang for the buck, right? What's the performance like versus what's the, the uniqueness like and what's the price like? Pock for a long time, and then I just recently switched 100%, and Competitive Cyclist got me dialed in with some Oakleys. So this video is supported by Competitive Cyclist, and there's code VEGANCYCLE15, which is good for 15% off on your first order if you've already ordered for them, kind of SOL. But it does work on Oakley. I know the last two videos I did a shoe video, and I did a Wahoo video, the code doesn't work for those brands. It does work for Oakley. It does. But I'm going to try to give you my honest unbiased breakdown of these shades because they all have a strength in one part of that little pyramid. One is unique, one performs well, one is not as expensive. What I like and the style I like may not be what you like. I'm really into outrageous shades. I want a face shield to cover up my suffer face because it's not good. I don't really have any traditional cycling sunglasses, but these were one of my first pair of sunglasses. I don't even know the brand of them. These are very like traditional sporty sunglasses. And I don't like this style. I don't like the style at all. I, I want a set of shades that I can be out on the road with, get done riding, and keep on and go to the movies. So of course, out of all, dude, there's so many freaking shades, okay? There's so many shades. You can check out Competitive Cyclist. They've got a bunch. But these are the shades that I've worn, and I'm gonna give you the breakdown on them. So first off was these ones, right? Terrible, okay? No, I don't even know the brand. Horrible performance. Uh, not good. So then we stepped our game up to the POC uh, full blades. And I really liked these for a while. But they are very cycling. You're not going to wear these out. You're not going to wear them to a wedding. I mean, you could. You're not going to look great. Okay. But so let's break down, one, the performance. The performance on... But all pox, in my opinion, okay? We're talking about these blades right now. is not good, dude. I'm just not, like, this. the lens technology on these, there is none. So out of a five, a one to five star, the, the lens technology and the performance of how I visually see things, it, I, I'm gonna say is a one, but a part of that performance is how they fit on your face. Okay, and these fit really nice. They're snug, they wrap around straight on. I have lots of visible area, right? There's not like part of the frame creeping into my visual. If you incorporate fit into it, it's like two and a half stars because the lens technology is just not good. It looks cool on the outside, but, but this part of it, eh. The price on these is about 220 bucks. So, they are kind of expensive, I guess like two, two and a half out of five. Uh, but the uniqueness is kind of where I think Pock really shines. Not a lot of people are running them, so you look like a special snowflake. People are like, whoa, I haven't seen those before. My favorite set from Pock are the Aspires. These Aspires, dude, when I first got them, pure lava, okay? The gold lens is, in, is outstanding. But again, let's talk about performance, okay? Performance on these, the lens technology on this is, I think, better than the, the blades, okay? And you can, get, you can get the gold lens or you can get the blacked out lens. Uh, these are really dark and, and these are not as dark. But there's really no like polarization or um, any sort of dynamic technology in the lens. But just the visual of it, is is amazing but they're so wide that i have looked back going downhill and the wind has just taken them off my face so as a cycling shade these aspires are not super great and so the, you, you know if you're just looking for performance 
these this is probably not the ticket the uniqueness of them they are to me amazing looking shades so uniqueness of the aspires four out of five and as people start to gravitate towards them more and you see more people running them maybe not so much and again subjective maybe you don't like how wide they are that's okay so my overall take on pox in general is that they are overpriced for the performance which is weird because Pock is like a snowboard company, right? They have all this crazy lens technology through their snowboard goggles. Why not bring those over to your cycling shades? But there's just one comparing to the 100% and especially to the Oakleys, there is zero performance and lens technology here. These fit okay. These fall off your face uh, in, in wind, um, but look great. So my overall take on Pock in general, like two and a half out of five stars. With that being said, I really, really, really liked my Aspires. I wore them a lot and I just, the, the pictures, bro, they're banging. And so I'll, I'll sacrifice performance to get that gram shot. Okay, now let's talk about the 100%. These are what I've been running recently. I got the Glendales and the what are these called speedcraft the speedcraft so now they also have an s2 and an s3 the s2s i wasn't a fan of they were a little too small on my face but again that's just very subjective so let's talk about these speedcrafts right so for one the performance of these is probably the is probably the highest out of any of these shades the performance on this because they fit very snug like they're not going anywhere dude they're tapered to your face and there is a little bit of lens technology. With this orange bit, it kind of changes the way I see the world and sort of makes certain things pop. It's not just a dark shade, right? It sort of adds to, to the color or brings color out, sort of diminishes shadows. All 100% so far that I've gotten have come with extra lenses. So you have like the dark and then you have a clear and then like an amber. So with like the Glendales, right? These are very dark, but they also come with this soft yellow. Wow. This really brightens up the world. Very good for like foggy days uh, or overcast. Okay. But so Speedcraft's performance, four out of five. Yeah, four out of five. Price wise, pretty good, dude. They're anywhere between 150 to like 185 bucks. Okay. So you're under that $200 threshold. That's great. Uh, and you get multiple lenses. So I think for the price, you're looking, yeah, like four out of five. Uniqueness, um, a lot of people run 100%. A lot of people are running them now. But they do have multiple different avenues that you could go. So if you don't want to, like my problem with these is I'll never wear them off the bike. These are strictly on the bike. These are also pretty on the bike. Like they look a little goofy off the bike. But if you're looking for uniqueness, not a lot of people are running the Glendales. The lens technology on the Glendales, though, is not as performance as these. They perform well fitting my face, and they have a very good visual. Like, there's a lot, like, I'm nothing in my, my, my line of vision. Uniqueness, maybe like a 3 out of 5, because a lot of people are running them. You know what I mean? But performance is there, and price is there. Let's jump into the Oakleys, dude. So I just want to give some context in that these were my favorite shades visually, yeah? Loved them, dude. The pocket spires. But the performance is just, like I already told you, it's very, very low on the scale. But this gold lens and the way that it fit my face was so unique that I was willing to sacrifice the performance for looks. And then I saw, when I was in Big Bear, I saw the Herminator rocking these set. I had never seen these before until I met him. And I was like, that is exactly what I want. Because let's talk about performance. Oakley, hands down, has the best performance. Their prism lens technology, it's just, dude, it's so unreal. And it's not like just a straight polarization where sometimes you look at something and it's weird. It has all this weird stuff all over it. And you tilt your head and it's like different. That doesn't happen here. It, the different shades pull out colors especially if i look at my phone dude it's like it throws a saturation filter so these are like exactly what i want 
They also have different lens technology, like these ones, first of all, banging. They really perform well. They're super light, they hug your face, and what you see, which is like the point of sunglasses, right, is to enhance the visuals. Dude, performance is five out of five. Now, I know that a lot of people have been running these. You see them everywhere. The uniqueness of Oakley's, one out of five, okay, because everyone has them, right? Because they're amazing. The price, honestly, what is the price? Uh, 166 bucks, 166 bucks for these? These, get out of town. So, you're looking at the least expensive sunglass in this lineup with the most performance. There's a couple others that, you know, they're over $200, but I didn't get those. I didn't get the ones that are super popular that everyone's running. I wanted to get a couple, I wanted to get two sets that were a little different. So I also got these ones, dude. The Wind Jacket 2.0, 150 bucks. Performance through the roof. The, uh, like the Rose lens, like these are my go-to for mountain biking because you've got all these shadows and it's crazy. <laughs> There's a little foam pad like where your head rests. So they're the most comfortable things I've ever put on my face. They just, they're very cycling specific. So for me personally, not something I would want to wear all the time. Like if I'm going to be out in the mountains alone with no Instagram, then cool. I'm running these. These though, price, performance, uniqueness, I would hold, I would probably have to say that this is like the winning pair. But if you're trying to just stunt and you're just trying to look literally the best ever, uh, I'm a huge fan of these, man. I'm a huge fan, but now I've got a face, a kind, of, kind of like a big head, right? So I, I don't skip head day. These look a little better on me. Now, maybe that's not your deal. Maybe you have like a moon face and these are going to be really, really wide on you. I don't know what to tell you. Fix your moon face. Or just get a pair that wrap a little more and that a little more cycling specific. If we're just gonna say Oakley in general, across all of the, the products they offer, performance is five out of five. Price, depending on which ones you're getting, is between a three and a four out of five. So when we're looking at 220 versus 160, Pock Aspires versus uh, the Oakley Cerutos, I believe, stunting on them. But a lot of people are running these. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, you want to roll up to a group ride and everyone has your pair of sunglasses. Ah, that sucks. So when you roll up and you're running the Aspires, people are like, whoa, this guy's got game. So to kind of break it all down, right? In my opinion, Pac it is slightly overpriced not very much performance, but very unique. 100% priced reasonably, great performance, also comes with a bunch of other lenses. And just in general, 100% has a lot of different styles and colorways to like get you dialed. So I was really happy with, with running 100%. It was very, I, I liked the Glendales a lot. Uh, the Speedcraft are just, there's like your typical cycling sunglass. They're very good. So kind of like your middle of the road, right? Then you've got your Oakleys, which are just, in my opinion, the best looking sunglass on the planet. Uh, all sorts of different colorways. And the performance is the best. The price is pretty good. But again, you're not a special snowflake when you're running these. Um, and that's kind of lame when you ride with a dude and you both have the same sunglasses. Now you can pick up any of these from uh, Competitive Cyclist. And again, if you use code VEGANCYCLE15, you can get 15% off on your first purchase only uh, of Oakley's. It does work, I promise, it works on Oakley. If you call them, maybe they can dial you on the other stuff, but you can get, I mean, there's a ton of different sunglasses on Competitive Cyclists and you can check them out. And there are options to go really cheap. Uh, just for example, <laughs> right now Shimano has a pair of sunglasses for like 27 bucks. Uh, on competitive cyclists, they're 60% off right now. They look atrocious, but you know what I mean? You can get some cheap stuff from, uh, from competitive cyclists. But anyway, man, I hope you enjoyed. Again, sunglasses are so subjective. 
And you're going to be like, what? why didn't you mention this brand? Or why didn't you show that one? I didn't have them here. And I can only show you what I have and what I have experience with. You know what I mean? Anyway, check out Competitive Cyclist, code VEGANCYCLE15, first purchase only, to get them on Oakley's and uh, or check out the other stuff that they have there. Do you like the big face blockers? The ones that are just massive? Or are you more into the real skinny shades? Like, like this, you know? Which I don't like these because, look, I'm like in the tuck. I, I can see you. But yeah, terrible. Not the case for the Oakleys or the 100%. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Thank you so much for watching. Check out Competitive Cyclist. And as always, Vegan Cycle. Yeah!